Oh, that's a fall boy. You look great. the straps. Outfit change. A little better. When in doubt, throw in a vest. Hello! It is a chilly, cozy November day and I wanted to do something not a little different. Have some fun with vintage hair. Very on brand. Last week or so on Instagram, there's an artist that I follow who is amazing. You should also follow her. Uh, Marla Von Duda. Man, I really hope I'm saying that right. She posted this image, which is the vintage hair challenge. So it's basically showing different styles for seven days of the week using the same accessory like a beret. So that's exactly what I wanted to try to do today, except all in one sitting because I can't go more than a day without my hair looking like Link from Encino Man. So that seven days a week is definitely not uh, attainable for this greasy bitch. But I figured it would be fun to do a video that's kind of like same beret, seven styles or something like that. I do have a beret that's similar to the illustration. But yeah, we're going to give each of these styles a try. So I've got my brush, some hairspray, a mirror, the beret, and then I am going to go grab about five trillion bobby pins because I feel like I will need them and then elastics for the braided styles. So I will be right back. Oh God. Good enough. Every now and then I get a little First up is Monday, which is the side braided bun, which looks like a couple pinned up sections, maybe victory rolls, and then a braided section that's kind of rolled up and pinned, and then the beret is off to the side. So let's do that. So I guess we can start with the rolls and then that way we know what's to be braided. Sectioning it off right around where my ear is. Wrapping it around my fingers and then rolling inwards. one's a big boy. <laughs> and the braid is also on the right side, so we are going to do this little thing. Good enough. The ends got away from me a little bit, but that's all right. And then I guess we just kind of do like a little Leia type thing. Curl it up and then pin. Okay, and then the beret goes mostly on this side. I love following her account because I would never have thought of this as a hairstyle, but it was relatively easy and super freaking cute. Also, people ask me all the time how I get my berets to stay on my head. Just keep pinning is my mantra for that. <laughs> it's kind of a shame to have to keep taking these out. It's okay. Next is pretty similar to Monday. We're just gonna do two big rolls and then two braids in the back and then kind of like crisscrossy. And that way it'll give kind of that uh, roll of braids in the back. And the middle part. Bobby pins be like. Cross here. Eh? No idea what that looks like. <laughs> I 
guess editing ritual will find out if that looks okay. So now we're getting into poodle territory. Dun, dun, dun. This one is quite simply just a little poodle right here, and then the rest is covered by the braid. So that should be relatively simple. So I am going to just hide far part off kind of a triangle almost. So that on that side, and then I don't really know if that's a triangle. That's okay. And then we are going to take small sections, wrap them around our fingers, and then roll up like you would a pin curl. I can't see. <laughs> I think that's okay. <laughs> and then you're gonna pin. I can see. <laughs> yeah, I may have made these a little too big. I hear your little poodle and I raise you freaking mastiff. Everything's fine. Do some queen up here because wow. It's a little tilted to one side. So now I'm gonna pull the rest of my hair back and I guess just doesn't really matter what you do with the hair. I'm just gonna kind of twirl it up around my fingers and then pin it. My head might be a little too big for this one. I don't know. It's cute from the front, and then once you turn to the side. Bulgy. All right, so the next one is rolls and braids. So the idea is to have a little bit of a poodle here, kind of similar to the last style. Rolls and then braids. So the middle is gonna be the poodle. hate when bobby pins do that. Crisscross! Listen, this ain't a middle school dance. Garbage. You want to hear a real jazz band, but I approve. That's wrong if you listen a minute. Mr. Conductor, there's a dear. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear. <laughs> I like this one. I really like the uh, poodle roll mix. I've never actually done that before. So next up is the half braid, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that work with a beret, but we're going to try. Looks similar to the milkmaid braid, but almost like you're hiding one side of your head. Alright, looks silly, but once you add the beret, maybe? Uh. Now, Mr. Blue. Uh. So this one's definitely a bit funkier than the other ones. It's like very almost asymmetrical. I mean, it kind of balances out, but it's definitely avant-garde, if you will. So for this one, the half up, half down style, it's almost like a victory roll type situation, but then there's a braid at the top. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Probably set aside a piece of hair to do the braid like that. Okay, and then we'll do that on the other side as well. I am right now, let her go. Oh, oh god. You know, as I'm getting older, I'm finding that one of my least favorite sounds is the sound of a pin or a bobby pin falling on the floor. It's almost like instant rage. Maybe I have a problem, I don't know. Kind of like milkmaid braids. And hopefully we can hide kind of the ugly parts with victory rolls. Your 
wrap that around my finger in kind of where the braids meet. I really like this one. It is a little bit hard for me to see the braids, so I think the braids kind of blended in a little bit with the rest of my hair, but I mean, it is sort of a little detail. There is no Dana, only Zool. Last but not least is Milkmaid braids, which I'm pretty comfortable doing, so that's cool. forward a little bit just because I want to have enough room for the beret. So that is all seven styles. This was so, so fun. I love just sitting down and getting to play with hair. I would not have been able to come up with these on my own. So please go over to Marla Von Duda. Marla? Marla Von Duda. Marla Von Duda. And give her some love because this is... And she always has a ton of amazing inspiration. I've actually recreated a few of her pieces just because they, they get you right in the, right in the aesthetic. Now have a few more hairstyles in my um, arsenal. What's it called? Oh no. It's like terminal? Arsenal. Nope, I lost it. Yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to do a nice cozy little chilly day video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every week and we have fun here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> my eyebrows are big today. My boy. My blue. Coffee break. Sorry. Is that gross? <laughs> that is the Cure uh, acapella. You're welcome. Also, if you think I've gone crazy already, you just wait. The colder months when I don't venture outside of the house and I just have myself to keep myself company. Ooh wee! My eyebrows are uneven, aren't they? Whatever. You know what's weird? My neighbor across the street, pretty sure they have their granddaughter over every now and then and they go outside a lot. So I feel like, you know, weirdly up to date on the age of that child. Like I've been doing this for a couple years now. And I feel like I remember when she was a little baby and now she's running around. Kids grow up so fast when you're a creepy neighbor. <laughs> I regret saying that. Just